have here all item packed to be shipped outside the country. My palm oil, my granite, um, the semo is here. The pack of fish, that big carton there is full of fish. I have everything well packed and it's nice because I'm going very early the next day. So I have to do this before going. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming back to watch my video. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you to all my subscribers always coming back to watch my video. Today's video is all about how to export your goods from Nigeria to other country. If you like exporting business, then this video is for you. I'm at Lagos Ibado Expressway. I'm going to Lagos. And as you can see, I'm having a fun, nice time in the car as I'm traveling. Though it is very early in the morning, so it makes the road so free. So I'm going to take you to uh, where you export your food items as a business or as a business you want to start it's so easy so come along with me and see how we packed all our food item down outside the country if you like this type of video don't forget to subscribe like and share i've arrived lagos this is Bega bridge the new bridge in lagos and if you have not noticed this is Bega. We are approaching going to Alausa because we are actually moving to International Airport in Ikeja. So this is the route if you're going to come through and wherever you're coming from, entering Lagos from Bega. And at the road in the morning, this road was not so busy. It was it was the, the the traffic was very good and i was so happy because it was very early in the morning so we we're able to beat the traffic the lagos traffic so that we get our things down to the place very low oh, we encounter little let me just say little hold up as you know now that is the normal tag for lagos if there's no hold up there definitely is not lagos then this way for those of you that live in lagos or those of you that knows lagos very well i'm actually approaching the Alausa Secretariat Ikeja. Um, I'm moving straight down to Elephant Bus Stop. Yes, that was after um, Secretariat. After Secretariat, you have the shop right by your left, and after shop right, when you move ahead, you have a. Um, you have to go straight, and as you are moving straight, you are approaching. Uh, you are approaching um, Allen Avenue moving down straight so that's how we just went down to taking um, Allen avenue and sometimes they hold up at ikeja on that bridge is always heavy to link to Ike. that is the general hospital and start moving to local airport is really busy so we just have to beat the traffic and get a shortcut down to general hospital and straight down to international airport um this is allen avenue and i'm so shocked i'm seeing some new development lagos for show lagos for action i'm seeing new development because this was actually where those british stays at um, allen avenue but i can see that it's a new development they are no longer there so we just went down straight and to link with the road going to Luca International Airport. If you're moving down, passing through the Ikeja, you're going to come across, you can see what is ahead. And this is actually Muritala Mohamed International Airport Plaza. At this place is the toll gate. So you're going to encounter some payment of talking as you come through this place as you pass through this part so then as you move down you just turn left actually the gate is opposite that particular entrance but they've locked it they've closed it so you just have to go you just move ahead and turn right at the right side this is the program and cargo terminal access and at this particular place um we have to look for where to queue because for each type of vehicle, you have a particular amount you're going to pay for how long that is the particular duration you stay inside the compound. So you have to look for where your car or your bus belongs to. So we're actually collecting the 
ticket and uh, this ticket shows the time we entered this place for us to know how long we are spending here so i'm at the cargo this is how it looks like at my back these are my goods i've bought them in everything is here everything is well set down here so i've met with the person that is going to have packed everything for me these are the packed goods already that you can see these are packed good others are packing that place is a very busy place everybody is just packing and wrapping up their goods to, for it to be shipped out so what happened when i got there was the first thing is i have uh, someone that is going to do the shipping process for me so what we do is he got, got a carton this is the carton he's carrying he got some carton for me and now he's about to pack the carton these are the carton this is going to pack actually he's packing for me right now um actually we've packed before but he realized that um, the carton the box is not going to be okay because you have to make sure that your load is not so heavy so they won't suspect or think something contraband is inside so you have to make sure that you are carrying what is light before he packed, before he start any process, we've got the immigration officers, the NLDLA, and every other person. They've checked what I brought to make sure that there is none that is contraband. And after they've checked and confirmed that everything is okay, then we went ahead with the packing of my food item. So that is what you saw him doing. He's just trying to patch up this carton so that he's not going to pull out after they've put everything inside so this is the process you're going to be seeing how they pack it and put everything in order before they put it in what in the ship and everything moves to my client
so this is actually how it looks like the next thing we're going to be doing is okay i brought in fish i have a pack of fish that which i've shown you before the full carton of fish now we're not going to remove the fish from the carton we are not going to pick out anything from the carton so what we just do is we just carry the fish direct inside the carton So my carton had to be numbered. They had 31, maybe a client had 20, 31, which is not mine. But for my own, they had 32, 33, 34, 35. So they are going to number your carton to be sure of your goods. So it's not going to get mixed up with any other goods or with any other person's um, load. So these are the do it. add tag to the cartons so they be with the number so they'll be able to identify the carton and the number they can trace it anytime anywhere <music> At this point, I saw that they started packing and wrapping with nylon. I was so surprised because the other ones I've done, they didn't wrap it up like this. They had to make a serial sealing, real packing. And it was so fine. It was so nice. I think I like the way this guy did his own job because this was not the person I used previously. This is another person I'm using for this business. And the way he packed, I really.
not going to, to just put loads or something that is going to damage what is inside so they have to put this because they are packing it with other packed ones so they have to be sure they pack it very well so that whatever is inside is not going to get damaged or destroyed so that's why they have to put fragile telling you that this particular carton please handle it with care At this point it has been fully packed look at how neatly packed it looks everything has been packed and we want to take them down to where we are going to weigh the total weight of my load that is what determines how much this agent is going to charge or is going to collect from me so this is my four pack this is my four box of my food stuff. It has been well packed. This is four of them. So we are just going to take them to where it's going to be way. We are just going, they, they push it down to where we are going to get the weight of the total food stuff. <laughs> here is a kind of one busy area that wow you'll be so surprised a lot of people here with shouting screaming so along the line we we're trying to take it away we are going to wait but i think um something happened the road was blocked we couldn't move further than this so the next thing they have to do is just to carry it and take it to where we are going to load um get sorry where we are going to get the total weight of my goods Where we it was way I was able to get the total weight of the four packs. It was just hundred one o one kg, and so that would determine how much I'm going to be pay the agent that packed everything. In the process of packing, we spend almost one hour at NACO office. Now we are moving out, but we have to pay. We have stayed for one hour. We are going to get to the paying um, point and pay for the total minute we've spent in here. And so from there, 
Oh, I moved down to Ibadan. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Till I see my next video. Bye.